Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over our daily technical analysis of crude oil and natural gas. Uh, from what I understand, the LNG terminal uh, is still having problems and it will be delayed getting natural gas out. So natural gas sold off quite dramatically today and it was up quite dramatically over in overseas, I should say. So there is a uh, correlation between those two and the delayed response uh, or the delayed um, coming online of that LNG terminal is definitely impacting the price of natural gas. Anyway, I'll give you my opinion here. We'll take a look at the charts. Uh, crude oil getting sold off a little bit today. Uh, we've got natural gas getting absolutely dumped today with the, the news of that LNG terminal being down and being delayed coming back on online. XOP, yeah, you know me. Uh, still just moving sideways. Uh, it's still sitting above all of its patterns. Uh, SM Energy, uh, surprisingly, is up today. Uh, up a little bit. Uh, it gapped higher and momentum's heading down uh, a, a little bit on it. But uh, it's holding its own above all the patterns. Uh, CDAV, same thing. It's right above the support line. Still holding its own. It was a little up day today. Crew Energy getting a little bit more of a sell-off uh, with natural gas. This could pull back even further. It's a pretty large selling day today. Uh, we've got CPE up. Uh, again, it's right below this resistance support line uh, that we've used before. Uh, we're just right up on it. Athabasca Oil getting a little bit of a sell-off today. Uh, we could head lower here. This is a bearish engulfing. Uh, so the likelihood or statistics is we could go a little bit lower in the short term. Recaf. Uh, nice little wicks on the bottom here, a hammer pattern, crescent point energy, bearish engulfing, we could head lower in the short term, uh, northern oil and gas, bearish engulfing, we could head lower. And a lot depends on what they say tomorrow in the Federal Reserve, you know, comes out. But uh, overall, I'm still remaining long in all my stocks, guys. GTE up a little bit. Looks like it's trying to turn Tellurian sideways, Pedevco uh, sideways here. Oasis, uh, just on top of a pattern. Uh, could we have a little bit more of a pullback? It's very well a possibility. It's, to me, some of these almost look like fractals, like they want to pull back a little bit more. Uh, CRK heading lower. Uh, the, the natural gas news is definitely not good news for, for this. I do see a fractal where this thing comes, it goes sideways, comes up, and then we get our kind of pullback like that. Maybe we can head all the way back to 14 bucks or something. Sandridge, uh, it's got that fractal of two uh, where it kind of comes in. Uh, we'll see what happens, but looks like it could potentially, well, we got a little bit of a wick at the bottom. Tough to say on the short, short term. We might have a little bounce. Uh, Ring Energy, uh, right on support. Uh, Surge Energy, uh, a little bit more selling pressure today. It's a bearish engulfing. We could head lower in it. Uh, Tamarack Valley Energy, bearish engulfing. Uh, heading lower is what I see. Crescent Energy coming to support, get a little bit of wick at the bottom. Uh, Vermilion Energy, getting a little bit of a sell-off in the short term here. Meg Energy, uh, bearish engulfing. We could head potentially lower in the short term. The Energy Service Company's OIH sell-off today, a little wick at the bottom. Looking at it, we're trying to break through this. Well, we've already broken through. We're kind of almost doing a back test there. Tetra Technologies, another one that's been getting a little bit of a sell-off right on support. Uh, rig getting a sell-off today. Uh, pump, not getting pumped up, just going sideways. Again, we've got large selling pressure here. That's the bearish engulfing. Kind of came back, and we'll see what, what happens next. EXTN, uh, another bearish engulfing there. That's the start of this move lower came up and then we've just sold off the past one, two, three, four days, right at support. Valeris getting a little bit of a sell off that's broken out of this pattern here to the downside. Uh, MMA offshore getting sold off, but that's a hammer pattern. Looks like it's trying to reverse or get support there. Tidewater moving sideways. Uh, any ex next year so oil field solutions bounced, hit its head with some resistance, came on back. Uh, Clixi getting a little bit of a sell off today. Uh, CHX bouncing sideways right at that resistance support line right there. Cactus Energy 
selling off today a little bit. We've got nine. Uh, nine's just moving sideways for the most part. OII moving sideways at support. Uh, Noble Energy right at support. Helix Energy Solutions still within the pattern. Nice good little downtrend line coming on up. CGG YY YY is pulling on back and we got another down day. It gap lower but ended up throughout the day. Uh, Petrofac moving sideways, Quite Global moving sideways, and Diamond Offshore getting a little bit up more selling pressure there. And looks like a lot of selling pressure still hit the coal stocks as well. Lots of people selling. Lots of people selling. What am I going to do? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hold on to my shares, guys. In all in all the sectors, uh, would I be adding? I got to see some some buying pressure in here before I'm going to start adding into anything. So that's where we're at right now, and uh, that's the current state. Still lots of selling pressure out there, and I'm not doing anything. I still think the market conditions and ratios are good for everything to happen. I think the energy crisis hasn't gone away. Fundamentals still look good. Give me a thumbs up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website. Platinum membership in the link below, or I should say in the description link below. And uh, join the Platinum membership if you guys want. I'll do a question and answer session coming up this weekend uh, in the morning, and uh, we can talk about all this as well. And I can answer your questions. All right, guys, uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.